Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Ingram. This is Ingram Angle from Washington tonight. The Flim Flam Gang. That's the focus of tonight's angle. All right, the talking point du jour for globalists is that conservatives skeptical about the McConnell-Schumer border deal don't really want to solve the crisis. They're just bowing down to Donald Trump, who opposes it. It's not surprising, I guess, but it, it's, it's, I mean, it's deeply cynical. People are dying. People's lot, you know, there are a lot of people's lives are, are hanging in the balance here. I think it's a fundamental problem with Trumpism, right? It, Trumpism is about nihilism. It's the burn it down caucus, right? They don't want to legislate because legislation is solving problems, right? They don't want the government to work. Similar flimsy thinking coming from that conservative stalwart Mitt Romney and other Trump-loathing pro-amnesty Republicans, like Tom Tillis. It is immoral for me to think you look the other way because you think this is the linchpin for President Trump to win. I do not want to be a part of a history that fails, uh, fails democracy. Senator, this actually is democracy. What's not respecting democracy is what's happening now hiding bills hundreds of pages long until the last possible minute, then forcing a vote before anyone's had the chance to really dissect it. So I find that kind of offensive, given that they're still sitting on the text. We ask, why can't we see it? And they say, well, it's in a lot of different places. It's not all in one document. That's fine. Uh, most of us on this stage are accustomed to uh, looking at a whole bunch of different pieces of documents. We can do that. No, still won't let us have it. Oh, OK. It must be really bad. Now, shills for the cheap labor lobby are a dime a dozen on Capitol Hill. We've talked about this for years. And they think you're stupid and that they could sneak through a massive foreign worker expansion that still allows Biden to wave in close to two million migrants in one year. Now, that's a win-win, isn't it, for both Biden and McConnell? You get the Ukraine money, you get more migrants, and you get political cover for the Democrats. But it is a gut punch to American workers. No wonder they don't want senators consulting with Trump. Instead, they want senators to listen to that stalwart conservative Liz Cheney. If it's true that McConnell said, you know, basically, you know, we thought we had a deal, but now it looks like, you know, Trump's going to be the nominee and he wants to run on this. Um, I mean, that that is so cynical and and irresponsible. Now, let me be clear. If there was any group of people who have a right to be cynical, it's the Americans who would like to see enforcement of our border laws. Now, a lot of you have been watching me on television or listening to my radio show or podcast over the years. You know that this has been an issue that I personally have focused on for 17 years. And time after time, politicians promised us that they are actually willing to enforce the border. I mean, really enforce the border. But then when you read the deals, it's really amnesty plus a gargantuan foreign worker increase with a promise of some type of enforcement or some limitation. It's always amorphous, never enforceable. And now, I promise, we're going to enter a new stage of this dark comedy. And we'll get to more of this in a moment. The same players are going to pretend that all this time they're negotiating a new border deal, a new, new border deal. And they're going to claim that they've tweaked the language, and then the media will pretend that the changes mean that the border problem is solved. Oh, and of course, it's all going to take a few months for these new policies to be fully effective, and you're going to have to hire new agents, and you're going to have to make sure everything is properly implemented. And there, there may be some court cases, but don't worry, the problem is solved. And then, when it's 2025, and heaven forbid if Biden has been reelected, and the immigrants are still pouring in with even greater numbers, the Democrats and their lackeys in the GOP establishment will laugh all the way to the bank. So yeah, we have every right to be cynical. Look at what's happened in the country in the last three years. But we actually aren't the true cynics here. The true cynics are those who put the short-term interests of their donors over the long-term interests of the American people. 
The true cynics are those who go on television and lie about the enforcement plans. It's going to work this time when they know very well none of those plans will be implemented by this crowd. We're not cynical. We're actually pragmatic and we're energized. And we are going to do everything we can to prevent you from further damaging America. And you know who you are. And that's the angle. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.